Oh, hello, space engineers, and welcome back. We're still over here at the warehouse. I have been busy off camera a little bit, though. I know I said it was dark and bad time to go out scrapping, but I did go out and do some traveling. I went back to way back where I found the one flatbed trailer that had three batteries. Well, I went ahead, went back, got those three batteries. In addition to that, I got that drill that was over there. I've also got this battery here. And on the way there, right in the middle of the road was a hangar that had a large grid battery in it. I haven't picked up that large grid battery, but I found it. And way over there, closer to over there where the ga gas station that had the drill and stuff is, there's a highway section with a flatbed on, on it that had a couple of l large Atma spheric thrusters on it. Now, I'd, once again, I left those because with those, with that drill and these four batteries on there, I really didn't have room for anything else, so I kind of had to leave that stuff behind. So I got all that in addition to that. I went ahead and made myself a little parking area over here and a connection. I haven't connected up to this yet, but I kind of set it up toward lined it up where I could. And what I whoops did do is even though I left the atmospheric thrusters there, I stole the metal grids, motors, and a few other things out of them. Oops. So, I don't know. I'm one metal grid short. But I picked up some other stuff. You know, a few other things. There was a fair amount of spawns down over there, but I wasn't really looking for spawns, so I just kind of stuck to the road and went. The, hang the highway and that hangar were kind of out in the middle of the road, so I might as well while I'm there. But, as I said, and... You know, that took a while. It's getting on towards morning again. But, like I said last time, I think it's about time we made a larger rover. So I'll set up a little station here to start building off of. We can... Well, let's just leave that alone for now. The first thing... We're going to start with that. And let me go ahead and use these. Oops. We're going to be adding to this. It's going to be here. So I've got to place it down there. And for this rover, I'm going to be using or borrowing these two. Oops. Well, first, I'm not going to be able to move that with all the ice in it. Let me find somewhere to shove ice. That should be light enough. And we're going to turn that off. And we need to put our... Let's go ahead and paint it. Not gonna let us do that. Mm -hmm. 
That's the one we wanted. Oh, you're kidding me. It won't let me put it there. Well, I guess I'll be doing it that way. Uh... Eight. Let's just go ahead and pick it up. And let's walk around here, out our new opening. Oh, it's over here. No. Let's see if I can't get the rotation right. There we go. And I need some parts. Let me go ahead and grab this motor off here while I'm thinking about it. And I'm going to need some of this. Let's just grab that for now. Pull this outside. And off the back of this, we're going to put that. Actually, let's hold off on doing adding that. Now let's go grab a battery. Let's see, I don't own this battery, do I? Yes, I do. Or it says I do, at least. So I'm going to put that right... Let's paint it, and let's put that there. Kind of work on getting these components that I can't build. on here. I think I need to do that and that. Maybe that'll help keep it a little stiff. Not stiffer, but, yeah, stiffer. Stable. And up there... I should be able to put that... Oh, it's out here already. And... Uh, let's put that right there.
Let's see if we can't get that up there. Like that. Okay, so we have all of that now. Well, let's get... Let's put those in there for now. Go ahead, weld those up. Then let's come in here. Ah, of course, we put it on upside down. There and there. Then starting at the front. There. There and there. So that's our wheels for now. Okay, right now, no, this doesn't look any bigger, and it's really not, but I plan on adding a trailer to this, and that is where the bigger will come in. Let's do this. I want to turn steering off on these four. So let me do that real quick. And on these two, I'm going to turn off propulsion. So essentially only the back four are going to be what's powering it. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So we've got that. And, let's see, I can leave that there. Let me go... I'm going to put that right there. I'll paint that later. So we've got that. And on these, let's go down the sides like that. So we've got that, we've got all that, we have that. For now, that's pretty much it. I need to weld it up. 
but that will be basically all that section of it is. The rest of it's just going to be trailer. There's some stuff up front I might do here in a little bit. Yeah, let me do some work on this, get this welded up, and I will be back. Well, I got that all welded up. I haven't actually test driven it yet, but it's welded up. I'm didn't do any, I'm going to work on the front more later. You know what? I can do that now. <clears throat> I was thinking of going for the trailer, but no, we need to get this front end taken care of. So first, let's go back to our color here. I wish these cabs better, better matched the rest of it. Because you can see it always ends up a slightly different color. But I'll leave that alone. Add a couple of lights there. And can I... I normally don't use these, but... Go ahead and do that. Yeah. Wow, those all take a large steel tube also. I'm going to hold off on welding up those. I knew these did. You know what? Go for it. I think I've got enough. Not the best looking front end, but I'll stick with it. And some glass. I don't know. Let me take these outside two off. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Still not the best, but think it's better. But let's get on to the back end here. And I moved my rotor back one to get it closer to in between these two. You know, these two sets of wheels. But let's go there. Let's try the smaller one. Let's turn it like that. Actually, let's leave that there. Let me go ahead. Whoops. Weld that up. Let's grab supplies. Put that back in our... Was it this gray? Yes. Now 
No. Just trying to get that rotor head. Screwed that up. And let's go back to here, get that done. That's going to have to work for now. But on this, I'm going to go... Why was that not moving? And then it moves all of its own. There, let's keep it like that. Let's turn... that lock on. I kind of wanted that tilted up a bit. Let's start there. Actually, let's not put anything extra on the front of that. Okay, so we should be able to go with four. Find... Our appropriate corner here. We're there and there. Let's go here. There. Yeah, let's go out kind of one more, so like that. Okay, and I've got that there, there. Well, no, these will need to be four blocks down the middle. Does it? Let's do four blocks for now. This might change. No. Let's do half blocks. And that might change. I'm thinking here. How am I going to lay this out? Okay, so that is basically one, two... bring that down so I can actually reach it.
Let's see, lower limit. Ten. Okay, why is this thing not moving? It's acting like it's got no power. It should be hooked up. Is that hinge not there? It says it is incomplete. Did I... I thought I welded that up. I need a computer. Okay. That's why it's not been acting right. Give it some braking torque. And let's get make that ten. There, that's where easy to work with. I've got the right amount here. Yeah, that should be the right amount. Let me bring this back down. Now this isn't going to have any side-to-side -side roll, if you haven't noticed, but I think I'll be okay there. I think. Now let me come over here, let me grab my merge blocks. here. Well, let me look at this. Okay, that's not going to be right. That's kind of the wrong height. I need to go down... That's one full block. Kind of one full block down, so we can go from there. Like that. And 
then I'll put my merge block on here. Raise that up a bit. Then I'm going to come into here. Let me use this one since it's already kind of full. Yeah. It's going to end up upside down, but I'm okay with that. get it rotated right here in a little bit. Come on. Get right there. Okay, I'm not heavy enough up front to hold that up. Imagine that. Um, I can fix that temporarily. Let's come over here. No, not that. Grab all that. Do that for now. And if I did my calculations right, this should be the same distance off the ground as that back there. Let me... put those there. It's not going to add a wheel, is it? No. That should... Yep, that is level. Now that does look a little high, but I can bring down this here to get that to work. That's not what I wanted. Back to 
like that. So if we start... We do that, we come here, and we... We're going to want this. more steel. Then we come back to here. Yeah, that's going to be of an odd shape, but I'm okay with that. Okay, how come I can't play? Oh, because I've got the wrong one. There we go. And I can follow that line back the rear wheels. Then I can get rid of the center beam, get rid of a bunch of that. This battery will end up kind of being flat with the rest of it. Now they've got that down, I can probably free that up. But let me get this laid out, welded up, and I will be back from there. Well, I've been working on this a little while and it is now pretty much dark but I think I'm at a good spot I'll go ahead and call it done for now there may be some other stuff that shows up or might do to it but it is done got lights on it even but decided to go ahead do a crane put it on there got lights the bed of it here is got covered with mag locks looks like I might need to up the suspension on the rear a bit that still looks a bit squatted though it may be just because of this hinge is that hinge locked that is off I've got let's just take that all the way out for now But, anyways, looks like that is set. Got braking torque. I've got that. Let's see. Let's turn that off. Maybe that'll help. Anyways, it is set and ready to go. I need to see if I can't go for a test run. And I think a good place to go is to head over there and see if I can't get that battery that's at that hangar. So let's get in here first. Let's see. I've got... should have wheels. Front wheels. Rear wheels. Let's change that to... That's sitting a little better. But let's see if we can't. Yep. 
Yeah, that's still a bit soft in the back, it looks like. Uh, back up here. Rear wheels. Let's up that a little more. And I might need to lower that power still. With the useful big wheels mod, the power gets up a fair amount on the 3x3s. So that's why you see me running so little power. And it may simply be that I'm pulling the front end up no matter what I do. I tried to move that a bit more forward. Maybe I needed to move that hitch a little further forward. But let's go. Let's see how bad this does. Let's see, there should be a road out this direction somewhere. Yeah, there it is. This isn't really going to be a good off-road vehicle. But I think I can live with that. See, the trailer seems to be tracking okay. It turns decent enough. I don't have any gyros on it because... Well, whoa! I don't have any gyros. Looks like my trailer tried to outrun me. I bet you it's because my front wheels came up a bit. Anyways, I don't have any gyros, so that's going to be a bit of a problem until I find some. And I don't have any real cargo space. I mean, I can lock down blocks, but I don't have any cargo containers. I can add one or two to it later. Let me mark that. That's about... Let's call that... 182... That was like 6 point... Let's call it 6.4. I'll go to that one later. But it is going to be a little bit of a journey to get over there. So, give me some time. And I'll kind of see you over there. Well, I was on the way to that one that's way over there, and another one showed up right here in the middle of the road. So let's go... That one's not even fully embedded. Let's go take a look and see what we've got. Carefully take a look at what we've got. So we've got a large engine. Looks like maybe a cargo container over there. Some lab equipment. So, not a whole lot. I mean, we do have a cargo container. We don't have metal grids for it right there, but we've got it. Does this have any... Ooh, 15 metal grids. That was worth finding. So now, we can do that, we can finish off our large 
cargo container. Got some steel tubes up here. I know I don't have much cargo room, but I can grab a few of these things. Does this have... Not a whole lot there worth having. We've got another hydrogen tank. That might be worth grabbing. We've got, let's see, sorter. Got a few different things here. Let's see, we've got some... That's probably about all the stuff I really want to grind down. Because I simply do not have cargo room. Yeah, it's about full. But that'll help keep the front wheels on the ground. But, that is a bit of a score. And we've got solar panels up there we can grab. Let's see, what's in here? Ooh, that's a atmospheric thruster in there. Nice. What's smoking? So, I came looking for, you know, there's a battery somewhere over there. Well, somewhere. But I think it is worth hanging out here for a bit and seeing if we can't grab some of this stuff. Let's see, that's nothing but steel plate. Let's get rid of this. No. Do I own it? I do not own it, so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Which means we might have to grab this with it. Let's see if we can't pick them both up. And now I'll need to get back out. So let's go for... So we can do that. Kind of grab, get some of that stuff out of the way. We've got two cargo containers. I didn't realize there was two of them. So we'll need to get in here with the crane and try to grab those three. I'll leave that alone. I'll leave some of that alone for now. But while I'm kind of sort of on this side, I need to see if I can't grab this out of here. There's eight metal grids in that, too. I think I saw that move. Yep, it's movable. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of this. So let's drag this out here. Can I pick it up? Not really. So I can roll it around, but I can't pick it up. I'll wait till I can get a crane on that one. But let's drive this truck around, see if we can't pick up a few of these things. Parking brake.
Now, I haven't set up these trailer jacks yet properly. How'd that get in the trailer lights group? I need to take that out of the trailer lights group. But anyways, let's reverse that. We are now locked down. Get up here carefully. So I've got lights on the end of that, so we can really see now. Let's turn that on. And I've got, I'm using mechanical keybinds mod to do this. So it works kind of like park script without the actual script, so you don't need a programmable, pro programmable block to do that. But you do have to go through here, set this stuff up through there, through the menu. Speed's a bit slow. That's not the one I was wanting. There we go. And... That's a little slow. Let's go here. Yeah, so some of these things can probably be sped up a bit. Let's see if I can't invert that. little bouncy. What I don't have is that. Get out of that. So is this going to roll off? I bet you that'll roll right off. But I've got at least one magnet on there. Let me... Let's do that. Then I should be able to hit that. And 
we've got that. So we picked up our first bit of cargo with our crane. A little sloppy. I think it needs some tuning. But I think we'll be okay. Let's see, let's get that tip in the right spot. Then I should be able to release that. And does it return to itself? Thought it was supposed to return when you released it. Maybe leave that on and then do that? I guess not. Hold on. least returned. Nope. Wrong direction. So that's trying to return to that. That's the problem, is these numbers don't really match. Slam. Way fast. But it did get there. Well, let me... Drive around and see if I can't get those cargo containers picked up and put on. That is after I remember to unlock these.
Well, there we have it. Our first cargo picked up, locked down. We've got more storage. We picked up some more metal grids. There's not any more hiding around here, is there? I don't think so. I think I'll leave this hydrogen tank for later. But I'll take all this home, unload it, maybe get it somewhat organized. But I think I will leave the episode right here. We've made some good progress. This will really help getting some of these bigger blocks in. So we'll be doing good now, or better now at least. As I said, this is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.